Sunday Night Solstice Book Club, a group of upper middle class career moms and daughters, and Talk Back, a book club comprised of women stepping out of the streets and into a shelter. Skeptics might say merging these two groups is never going to work, but these ladies say, try us. All of the women here have at least one thing in common. We're all intelligent women who are trying to move forward and change. And really, that's all you need is that one commonality. Anytime you get to talk and communicate with different individuals, especially women, um, problems shared. You know, if you have problems or issues, half. It's already cut in half. I mean, it's not as much. You know, and you can deal with it. What is normal? But for many here, sharing lessons from a book means swallowing some pride, especially when they've all never met half the ladies in the room. And for others, sharing means stepping out of the box. Such an uncomfortable topic of discussion. At first, I was a little bit, a little bit worried about the book and the whole issue of alcoholism, homeless, and to how my ladies would perceive it to be. And would it, we need a therapist on call <laughs> as they was reading the book. And I felt great to see them opening up and talking and communicating without any problem at all. William Kennedy's Ironweed was their book pick for this first meeting a Pulitzer Prize winning novel about two homeless people on a quest for meaning in their lives. It was written in 1979, but today it still resonates with truth and authenticity. William Kennedy got it right. He somehow got homelessness. He nailed it. And that came forward from the women who are residents at the YWCA shelter here. Paying for it today. Every testimonial that they offered, you know, ask them afterwards, well, you know, as it relates to this novel, is it accurate? Did Kennedy get it right? And the answer was yes. That's me. I didn't forgive myself. In each and every instance. That was remarkable. It was the right book to pick. Readers agree the right book. Yes. Easy to get through, on the other hand. Sometimes not. But after they trekked on past the introduction, many here say they had some <coughs> aha moments. It seems richer. You can take a negative and turn it into a positive, and that's what I did with a book. It, it motivates you to really want to change and to let go of resentment and guilt feelings that you have about things that you've done in your life. Oh my gosh, this book was like nothing but light bulbs. And so the electricity flickers on into discussion, impacting even the next generation. To show their children an example of compassion, many readers brought along babysitters for free. When I see my 17-year-old daughter who could be choosing to do so many other things. Coming here and, and bouncing a little toddler on her hip, I get a good feeling. I know I've done a good job in this way of raising my child. This is what I want her to be about. I have never been affiliated with nothing like this. And the people open up their door and their hearts and their kindness to let you know that you are somebody regardless if you are homeless. And you got to let them know the appreciation and the care and the love that you appreciate them. Because you know what? We can't go backwards, we have to go forward. And we gotta keep on for us women to stick together. It's just such a givingness that, you know, people need to get through life. We need to know that there are angels embedded in our life to pick us up when we fall. And if we lose our compassion, which the character of Francis didn't lose, um, then, you know, our life is more productive. We can't be iron all the time. Sometimes, you know, we have to be, you know, human and, you know, love people the way that God would, you know, the way that God loves us. By the end of the afternoon, summer night solstice and talk back readers reach a fork in the road and choose the same path. They say they desire to enact change. And homelessness just don't affect black, it affects all gender, all races, you know what I'm saying? And it's an issue, not just for me, for a lot of people. I mean, we all need to get together and try to get rid of this. I mean, I don't know how it can be done. I feel really inspired, I feel restless. I almost feel like, I feel convicted. I feel happy inside, but at the same time, I'm kind of hurting now. Because knowing there are people who are hurting, and we all hurt, and we all have issues. But to think that people don't have a place to sleep at night, that their whole day is, where am I going to sleep tonight? And then I, I just can't live with that. I just want to do something to help. 
So powerful literature will get to you every time. And the meeting of good souls and minds. What now? You just can't come and have such a rich dialogue with people and walk away and be the same. Well, let's just say it's the beginning. Fear of everyday living that scares them a little savior.